Hi! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Damien Din and I'm a photographer now YouTuber because I upload every week. So you guys are gonna be seeing. So on this week, ah, in this week's video, I'm gonna be completing everything um, my friend Autumn sent to me. So she sent me a full meal guide that I can follow this week because it's back to school season, y'all. So that means it's gonna be grinding all the time with homeworks, tests, quizzes, all that stuff. So when are you gonna find time to eat? So in this week's video, I'm gonna be showing you things that she has sent me to try and I'm gonna try and following them for an entire week. My friend Autumn is also a YouTuber. She is a certified nutritionist and has another channel, or has a channel where she talks about nutrition facts and what you can do to help improve your daily intake of food and how things can affect your body. As a nutritionist, she's an expert in the area of GI tracts, athletic performance, and bringing the body back to a more balanced level through delicious food that she sent me. So I'm gonna follow the recipe she sent me and I'm gonna show you how you guys can do so too because as a college student, it's always hard to eat healthy. So, um, by show, I'm gonna show you these little steps that you can take, which is completely affordable compared to your college tuition. So you're gonna be saving a lot of bucks and it's really, really good. So you guys, I will show you and make sure to stay tuned for, and make sure to stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, bye, On to the video. Hello bros. It's way too early in the morning. I don't know why I did this myself, but right now I'm gonna make food for breakfast. <clears throat> okay, for today's first ingredient or food item that I'm eating, that's gonna be way healthier than I would usually eat, which is like Eggo waffles or something. I'm making a blueberry smoothie. <clears throat> yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna make a blueberry smoothie with coconut milk, blueberries, chia seeds, and etc. So let's go do that. Okay, predictions on how I'm gonna like it. I feel like it's gonna be chunky because of the chia seeds, but we'll see about that. I feel like. Okay. But besides that, I think I'm gonna like it. Coconut milk is, I think, tends to be sweeter than regular milk. Let's just try it. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be. It's very tame. It's okay, I like it. Coconut milk is good. Okay, let's do that. Let's go through all the things I did wrong with this drink. I didn't add in the coconut butter, hemp seeds, protein powder. I'm pretty sure that's why it's so liquidy. And I didn't freeze the banana because they were kind of expensive at Walmart. And I know Walmart. And I wanted to stay under budget because I was under buying other stuff and I just did not have enough money to buy anything. But this is still good. I would freeze the banana next time and maybe add less coconut milk. But I'm gonna down this and then go to school. Okay bros, I'm only on one day of this diet thing and I've only had one thing and I'm low-key dying because I'm so hungry. I just came back from school, so that was fun, and now I just want something quick and easy to eat because all of the things that I put on my list are kind of like, it takes some time to make and then it's a struggle for me. But I will get better, but I'm just gonna cheat just, just, just a little to um, fulfill my stomach needs. Oh, there's an ant on me, ew. Anyway, that's an update. I will show you my chicken nuggets afterwards. Hey, bros. Right now, I'm on way. I'm on my way. I can't see myself. Oh. I am on my way. When I plug in my car, to go get food, or to cook food for my next item, I will be cooking a. 
it's called the weeknighter bake. So that means it's basically a, it's a salad, basically, salad. It has Brussels sprouts and um, red onions, arugula, walnuts, etc. But I think I'm gonna change it a little because my brother does not like Brussels sprouts. So we're just gonna make it into a salad and hope for the best. So we're gonna, oh, we're gonna replace the Brussels sprouts with, with spinach and lettuce and other stuff. Keep everything else the same and I think we should be Gucci after that because it's still healthy and I just modified it a little. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you when I get there. Okay, bye. You can't even see. You can't even see. Oh my gosh, copyright music. You can't even see, but got the wood in there. We're gonna go home and then we're gonna cook it. Okay, okay, bye. And we're back. You're in my cabinet and I'm gonna cook. Got all the ingredients. Let's go cook. Did not want to break it. Okay, bye. So, I was supposed to bake them. This whole day is just not going as planned. Tomorrow will be better. I'm gonna cook these, I will show you at the end, and then we can regroup again. We'll regroup and talk about our day. Yummy. Let's talk about, oh, I'm really bright, but let's talk about our food today. So today I ate a smoothie and then the chicken salad. I didn't plan on not having a lunch. It just happened because one of my classes is in the middle of lunch time, so I just kind of skipped it. So, yay. But anyway, besides that, I really like the smoothie. I think I should improve it. Um, I think I can improve on it more because I need to add less. Coconut milk is very coconutty. I'm gonna add more fruit instead of just berry. So maybe a mango or other stuff. Maybe some green kale and etc. And then besides that, the chicken was really good. Um, the salad, bomb. Salad dressing, bomb. Would do it again, and it was pretty easy, and very, very, very inexpensive. I think it would have been like $15 for everything, so very highly recommended, and very budget friendly for college students, such as me. And I need to be saving money, because college is very, very, very expensive. I just spent a lot of money on books, and there was only two books. So, yeah, and I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go sleep, and I will update you guys later. See you tomorrow. Do you know what time it is? It's breakfast time. I just got back from school. I'm gonna cook some eggs. Yeah, I don't know if I'll cook scrambled eggs or regular, like, sunny side up eggs. We'll see what I'm in the mood for. Probably sunny side and legs because I want some crispy edges. Mm. Mm. But I don't have any greens. So I'm gonna make a healthy smoothie to eat with it. I'll show you my process of cooking an egg. Grill. Second step, butter. Butter on pan. Cook until crispy on side. Bon appetit, hire me because I am a cooking master. Okay, bye. I will show you my finished product. Guys, say prayers because there has been a casualty. Look at that, oh no. It's okay, it's cooking. I'll eat it and then we'll 
we'll go from there. That one's fine, so I'm Gucci. Oh, it looks like a face. Hi, this isn't in any of the recipes, and my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna quickly make this. I'm gonna make a mango kale salad smoothie thing. Get your greens. Get your mango. Get your tiny bananas. Okay, they're all in here. Blend them all together. If you want it to be extra a little cold, put ice in it. And then you have your mango banana kale salad smoothie. So, just drink it and you'll be set for the rest of the day. No, I'm just kidding, don't eat food. But I have my egg and smoothie and I'm hungry and yeah, I'm gonna eat the food and meet you back up during lunch or maybe dinner. We'll see, okay, bye. Hello. Welcome to today's show. Welcome today. Welcome to today's update. So, today I made eggs, which is always good, and a mango kale smoothie, which was really good. I added a banana too. That wasn't in the recipe, but I improvised it and it tasted good. Next. I slept through lunch, so I didn't eat lunch. So here comes dinner. Dinner, I replaced the cauliflower, it was supposed to be cauliflower stir fry, but I changed the recipe a little and put quinoa on it because that's what I had at home. And uh, it tasted really good. So if you guys find recipes online, don't be afraid to change up the recipe a little and put your own spin to it because and then it can taste really good. Then I also added chicken. So that was really good. I got my meat and because I am literally carnivore and will eat any type of meat. But besides that, everything was really good. It was really easy to make and everything was really affordable. It was either free for today or I think $10 to make. So go to your local Walmart Sponsor me, Walmart. Just kidding. Not kidding. But sponsor me. Because I shopped there. I shopped everything there. Okay, anyway, it was cheap. I spent like $10 on a meal. Typically, I think you would get that for more than $10 at like a Panda Express. And I cooked, and it serves three people or more. So if you cook it at home, you get more, a more, more bang for your buck, you know? So, yeah. And then, it tastes really good, easy to make, and affordable for me. Okay, let's go to day three. Hey bros, I'm cooking today. Well, obviously, I'm cooking every day. I kind of cheated and got home and ate a bunch of junk food, but it's okay because I didn't eat breakfast nor lunch. Well, I had breakfast. I had like this crappy piece of pizza at my school and it was really gross and it tasted like cardboard, so I'm never going to eat that again. But right now, I'm going to go to Trader Joe's, get ingredients, and today I am making a pumpkin chili soup thing. It'll be good. I've never tried. Usually, I don't like pumpkin, but today I feel adventurous and I want to try it. So we're going to do it. It's going to be healthy. It's going to be good. And it's going to be cheap. So I'll show you once I get the ingredients and I will start cooking. Okay, bye. Well, I forgot to vlog. It's in there. I put everything in. Don't worry about it. You'll see the final product. Okay. It's done. So, it's gonna simmer for 30 minutes, then I will eat it, and you will see it. 
I finished the dish. Look at the dish. It looks so good. Time for montage. Hi, I'm gonna eat this. I will come back to you after I'm done and I'll tell you how about how I cooked it, the process of it, and how I felt, and if it's affordable, and I will tell you the deeds after I finish. Okay, bye. Hi, we're back. So, let's talk about the food. Today I made a chili. I made, ch I made chili. Um, the recipe was supposed to be a pumpkin chili, but all the stores near me did not have a pumpkin puree or anything, so I went without it and you just used chicken broth instead, which is fine. It's just a thinner consistency, I guess. Anyway, but besides that, the chili was amazing. I spent under $20 making it and my entire family ate it, so I called that a win. That means it's affordable for college students, it's easy to make, and you guys should try making chili sometime because it tastes really good. You just add sour cream to it, sour cream cheese, and cilantro at the end, and ugh, it tastes so good. But besides the chili today, what did I eat this morning? I didn't have enough time to eat, so I just ate a pizza at school, which was really bad. I already told you about that. And then lunch, I literally downed chips and candy, but shh. yeah. And I don't have any time to cook during lunch, so I usually just skip it or eat something really quickly because I have school or homework or something else to do. But tomorrow is the second to last day we are cooking. So let's just go to that. Hey guys, so the last two days obviously did not happen because we ate the chili for two more days. The leftovers, we had so much of it. So that means, I mean, it is affordable and you guys can make it at home and you can have a lot of it and share with a lot of people. For under, let's see, $15? So I highly, highly recommend doing the chili and even the bigger pan fried dishes is really helpful because as a college student you want to be saving money and make as much food as you can in the beginning of the week because you won't have time to do it throughout the entire week and that's what I learned from this. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe because, because you love me, right? You love me. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, comment down below, turn on the post notifications, hit the bell icon to do so, and I'll see you guys next week. Sorry for the late videos. Love you guys. Okay, bye.